they forgot about us. They forgot about me. They forgot I was part BTB. They forgot I was part, I was part CEO. They forgot we was the outcast of podcasts. They forgot. They forgot. And not not and and, and to your credit, I left y'all. But I didn't think you would forget. This is this is a new segment, and y'all already forgot about the new segment. I know it's been a couple episodes. I understand that. But we back. And I, I, I'll, I'll never leave y'all. I will never leave y'all. But y'all trying to leave me? Y'all trying to leave BTB because we was quiet? <laughs> Why? <laughs> We're back, man. It's Low po- Poet Corner. You know what I mean? It's the Poet Corner. No, it's, not, it's not just mine. It's the Poet's Corner. <laughs> for anybody. It ain't just for me. I'm just the host. Feel me? Lowe's back. You know, back from hiatus, back, part uh, owner, C- a CEO, if you will. You know what I mean? Co-part with my man, Dean. Shout out to Dean. We got Marissa in the building. What up? One, one of the most anticipated um, returns of the Poet Corner. Oh, wow. Because not only that, not only, not only because, you know, we, 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 we've, we've, We've had some powerful episodes in, in the first couple of episodes we had. Some mm-hmm. authors, some powerful wordsmiths. Mm-hmm. But we got someone out here that's just, we got someone out that's different. <laughs> She's different, y'all. She's different. She's different. Oh, God. I don't even call her Marissa. I call her the RHS. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I don't call her Marissa no more. That's not her name. Yeah. Her name. She R-H-S. only goes by RHS. Okay. So if you see her, address her as RHS. Don't say as yes, Marissa. Because we don't know Marissa anymore. <laughs> What's Marissa. going on, sister? How 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 have you been? How has life has been going on for you right now? You know, it's it's been crazy not living in New York. Well, Long Island specifically too. And like being away from that, you know, I definitely went into a creative drought not being surrounded by creative people. Facts, Um, isolated. Yeah, and the good thing about that is like art came out of it in the long run, but Mm -hmm. for a minute, you know, I wasn't able to write. I mean, I was doing some painting and, you know, stuff here and there, but like I haven't done a photo shoot, which anyone who knows me knows like Mm -hmm. I was doing photo shoots all the time in New York. Right. So definitely like a lull creatively, but also like, took the time to like really relax recover like a little bit of PTSD living in New York you know what I mean it's uh it's completely different now so Facts. but I am back I've been writing working on some stuff and oh. um you know hopefully it's only up from here and I'm hoping to meet some new people now that you know, COVID's lightening up I'm hoping to actually meet some creative people down here and you know get working yeah yeah but but we but we what we here to do now is we are here to punch people's heads off. We are here to um, you know, hit them with the with the with the lyrical arrows right in the heart, graze <laughs> them with with wordplay bullets, if you will. You know what I'm saying? That's what we're here to do. And we're gonna break it down. We're gonna get the synopsis. We're gonna get the whole premise of all the pieces and inspiration of the art. This is the poet's corner. Peace, 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 peace. So, Marissa. Oh, sorry. RHS. Do you? <laughs> um, you want to get into something right, right, right now? Or are we looking for revenge right now? Or are we? Are we? What are we doing? Are we? Are we? We'll get into revenge later. We'll get, we can. We can. We can bring that in later. We can bring that. Later. Classic. I, I definitely. You know, I think we kill it when we do it. Right. But we can. We can. In. we can ease in we can close yeah that's the yeah, that's a good idea i like that i like that <laughs> let's, let, let's not punch the head off forget. yes exactly <laughs> they thought they forgot like they what i don't know what's going on can't forget revenge no no so so what what do you got for us on a plate what's the what's the appetizer right now all right so btv exclusive announcement exclusive oh, shit. btv hears it first uh-huh 
Um, I am officially going to be releasing my first poetry book. Oh, fire. It's been a long time coming and it actually is nothing of what I expected to be releasing. Um, I am working on a spoken word book. Um, oh, shit. In which revenge, obviously, we've discussed will be featured in. Um, but there's revenge. very specific things I want to accomplish with that book specifically and those poems that I don't want to rush it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I, I need to really do that the right way and take my time and perfect it before it sees, you know, someone else sees it. So in the meantime, though, I've been like dying to just put something out like and like not anything, but like something. And um, ironically, my um, my aunt, who's very spiritual, like I am, you know, um, some of my spirituality has been influenced by being related to her. And uh, she had looked at me one of the last times I was in New York and she was like, you just gotta use less words. And we weren't even talking about writing or anything. It, we were talking about something. She's like, you can say what you mean and say less. And I was like, oh, that's interesting. Hmm. Uh, fast forward to December, <laughs> um, I exper experimented with psychedelics <laughs> and- Get trippy. Yeah. <laughs> You know, I didn't really go in with um, with a goal necessarily. I just kind of wanted to experience it because I've never experienced it before. Watched um, the Mac Miller Circles visuals on YouTube, RIP, Mac mm, Miller. But Mac. after that, I just, I really wanted to write. So I pick up my universe book, which has like, you know, it's all journaling and stuff in that one because I have journals for specific things. Right. And the way the pen was writing on the paper was so pleasing to watch mm. <laughs> like it like a movie I can't scene. Really explain it but it was almost like a super zoomed in version of like the ink leaving the pen onto the paper Oof. it was sick talk that imagery and and everything just flowed out it, it just came out and I wasn't even thinking necessarily about what I was writing because I just wanted to like physically write and the things that came out of it though were really fucking dope <laughs> mm. and um I have the book right here. So the title of this poetry book I'm releasing is going to be called Leave a Message with Your Brain, mm. um, which was something I wrote during the trip. And, um, you know, I was able to take a bunch of poems from that experience and like let it really open me up to writing differently when I was also not tripping because mm. you can't, tri you know, personally for me I would be able to trip every day and write like that would be that'd be a lot of <laughs> a Get lot trippy. Of but <laughs> the way after I had read what I written I was like wow like I really just need to think differently and then from there poems just started pouring out you know sometimes five a day because they're all these short little poems um so it's very different obviously than how people recognize me as a poet most people who know my poetry are going to relate it to the longer spoken word pieces facts um however everyone starts somewhere when i first started writing poetry it was all short poems they, mm. they weren't long poems so and this is so this is getting back to your essence in, in a sense yeah and i think it was interesting how my aunt had brought that up mm. and i think it was interesting how my first time experimenting with psychedelics led me to using less words and just mm. putting it out there mm. So the, the book universe is doing it. literally, it's just kind of like divine intervention at that point. It's, you know, whatever's inside of me dying to come out, coming to light. Finally, mm. you know, the universe was letting me know the whole time that something was coming. So, um, yeah, I'm really excited. It's not done yet. I'm still putting together the book and, um, you know, ordering the poems, making sure I have enough, making sure each poem perfectly fits the book. I have a really good friend of mine that I met down here in Austin, um, drawing up a book a book cover for me too. So um, nice. after this episode is posted, you'll see that book cover, even though <laughs> at the moment it's not created yet. <laughs> but yeah, so I, I, I don't know. I like, can't believe I'm actually going to have a book out, you know? And this, and this, no, 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 You can believe it because this is what, <laughs> this is what none other than 
we would expect and our audience would expect from BTB that the BTB alumni is not no no random motherfuckers that just do shit. These are these are people who are out here. Mm-hmm. We got Arthur's artists, you know, Broadway mm-hmm. strong men. Like yeah. we have, a, we yeah. do. Like with the BTB alumni, is people who <laughs> do shit. <laughs> they get shit done. You know what I'm saying? So we this I'd expect nothing less. We are obviously proud of you, and we can't exp- and we can't wait till the to the to the project comes out. But let's get let's I get the teasers. Let's let's, get the teasers. let's see. Yeah, I was just gonna say let let me share one or two with you that I'm comfortable. Okay. Read them before. Uh... You're gonna interlude. You're gonna J Cole interlude us. All right, got it. <laughs> got it. I, um, actually, you know what? I'll definitely read the one that has the title in the poem. Ah, self-titled like that. Um. Let's see. Well, I'm just scrolling. Okay, found it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this is what. So I originally just wrote the title, and then I wrote a poem around the title. Um, but this is this is it. I am checked out, but there's so many words I wish to remember. Leave a message with your brain. Maybe it will come back to you, or maybe it'll be gone forever. Mm. So, super short. Super short, you know, but makes you feel something at the same yeah. time. Despite... And, and, and you know what it tells me is like, write shit down. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because, yeah. you know, that has lead the message in your brain. Like, yo, if you like, I feel like if you like, instead of saying to yourself, like, yo, remember this later, write it down, mm-hmm. you know? So that's what that's, even though it says leave a message with your brain. That's 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 yeah. that's powerful with those with that because you could take that so many different ways and it's only like three lines. Well, and and also, so the reason that created it too was while I was tripping, I was kind of understanding like I am going to have thoughts and feelings and emotions and energies that I'm not going to have access to mm. when this is over. Mm, you know, right? Um, my brain won't necessarily be able to think at the capacity that it's thinking at right now. Yeah, it's open, and it's kind of <laughs> like having a moment with your higher self that you don't get often for some, you know, I'm obviously, I'm spiritual and I'm in my spiritual awakening, but I am not with my highest self at at this point in time yet, you know? So it's kind of like also just like leaving like a emotional message with yourself or like, you know, the thoughts that you can't think of when you're just on a daily basis basis mm-hmm. in life so it had that but then also like I'm the queen of literally not writing shit down and losing all these words you know what I'm saying that meant something to me that I was Absolutely. like oh that would be I should write that down and I'll like, go through that too I'll leave a message with my brain to write it down but do I not right. always that, maybe and, I'll remember it or maybe it'll be gone forever and that's my point right yeah so it definitely has like that double entendre vibe you know what I mean yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah that's what I was saying like it's it's beautiful that it's like you could take it, you know, like a couple different meanings to it, and it's literally short. Mm-hmm. So um, how many how many of those pieces like can we expect in 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 the book? Can you as of right now? I have about forty five. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> um, of the short ones. Of the short ones, and you know, I, you know, I just I don't sit down and write. You know what I'm saying? I'm not like, hey, let me sit down and write some poetry today. Mm-hmm. You know, everything has to come to me. Like I have this paper right here that I, it was slow at work and I just felt like writing and I just wrote a bunch of small poems. Cause I, mm. it was just, it was flowing. You know, mm. I wrote one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 poems in five hours. Mm. Just cause I was, my brain was there, you know? Mm. Um, And I think that's what's kind of cool too about the shorter poems is it it helps me at least because sometimes when I'm writing a longer poem, I critique the fuck out of myself and it's never done. This is that with a short poem, there's not much to work on. You know, it's kind of like you can tweak it a little bit here and there, but you kind of have to let it go and accept that it's a good poem. Facts. Yeah. So, you know, that's been hard. <laughs> but that, but that's what it is. Those like some that's how I kind of feel like let it rip. Like just let it fucking <laughs> rip. You know? And sometimes like 
it's hard for me to come come back and like finish a piece because I just feel like I just like that those emotions were there unless I could like try to like re rethink it and like re reimagine that that perspective I was in but for me it's like I, I can't really like continue pieces once I've like you know started writing I gotta finish it or if I, whoever I leave off at it is that's the end of it yeah you know? Let me, um, here I'll give you a teaser from one that I just wrote Ooh. Now don't be geeking. Give me that one. I know, I know. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I've been having this problem because it's like I don't, you know, because the book's not gonna be out yet. You know what I'm right, saying? So right, it's like right. I'm like strategically sharing the ones that I'm like, okay, mm. yeah. <laughs> you know, but there's ones yeah, I'm like, yeah, I want yeah. you to read it when you open the book up. Facts, 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 facts. Um, I mean, but it's gonna be forty-five of them, motherfucker. Yeah, you know I, mean? <laughs> I mean, so at least give me, at least give me three. <laughs> let's see. Okay, here's a good one. This one's. Uh, I'll try and read like different genres. Um, mm. You can say you don't like me, or you can say my energy is intimidating. It just depends on whether, tr- on whether the truth or lies help you sleep at night. On, it depends, okay, on whether truth or lies help you sleep at night. Mm. What does help you sleep at night? Yo, because some people need to lie to themselves and some people, you know, I mean, most people need to lie to themselves. That's why, that's like the point. You know, it's like, mm-hmm. you know, you can say you don't like me or you can be honest and say that my energy intimidates you, which is really what's going to make you feel better, you know? Mm. <laughs> like either mm. way, you don't like me because mm. I intimidate you. Mm. Um, and this is directed to towards males or females or anything? people in general people not gender specific not age specific Mm. not even people i know specific you got friends Mm. like that too man you know what Mm. i'm saying like Mm. Mm. (laughs) you know (laughs) yeah i do but i'm like much but am i too much or you're intimidated No offense <laughs> to those people. <laughs> no, talk spicy to those people. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? Because and 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 this is what I've I've seen before. It's like you know, and I've 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 heard Snoop say in an interview, like, you know, it's it's the company you keep circling around you, but it's also like if they don't want to ca- catch up to what level you're at, or you got to catch up to the level yeah. you're at. If not, if you don't close that gap, that's what a friendship yeah. is. Mm-hmm. And people will not like you for the energy you carry you know what i'm saying like people don't need a reason to not like you they can search and seek and find little ones here and there but at the end of the day i feel like 90 percent of the time it's because like they're intimidated by you facts they see something in you that they don't see in themselves and that bothers them or like you now oh she's a little this am i a little this or you're not enough that Oof. (laughs) (laughs) you know so them after that and 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 um do you think it's uh do you think sometimes it's like uh they project like their limitations on 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 you just because they can't do something um it's i wrote another one that i'll share aha the trigger (laughs) another one this has been an ongoing professional i'm a professional people I'm professional. This one's kind of, ooh, I'm <laughs> on a different level. Like, I'm a different poet than I was, you know, a year ago when quarantine started. But all right, this one I wrote shortly after I wrote this one. This is also on the piece of paper. Mm-hmm. Your insecurities scream every time you speak ill of me. There are many things I may be, but I am not weak. I am free, and you are simply put, not interesting. Read that one more time, please. <laughs> Your insecurities scream every time you speak ill of me. There are many things I may be, but I am not weak. I am free. And you are, simply put, not interesting. Ouch. (laughs) (laughs) Your insecurities scream every time you speak ill of me. You know what that means? Shut your mouth. (laughs) Shut your mouth. (laughs) Quiet time, goofy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like That's what that means. You're speaking so negatively about somebody from it, it's coming 
from a place of insecurity. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. and I don't mean like people's actions. Like if someone does something shitty, I'm not saying you're insecure if you like mm-hmm. hold accountable, but mm-hmm. like, oh, she's this, she's that, or she doesn't do this, or she doesn't do that. She does, like, right. You're all, you're saying more about you, even though my name's coming out of your mouth. Mm. You know? Yeah, exactly. Very true. Very true. Yikes. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're going for it in this book. I'm thinking yeah. of different levels entirely. I have that one's good. That one's gonna sync with me, even though it doesn't apply. It just, it just <laughs> no, not it sounded, to you. It sounded that. crazy. It sounded, I'm oh, that's like oh, that's some shit. Like you know, make the 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 mug face to like. <laughs> you look at somebody like talking to you. <laughs> So what I think I'll do is, all right, I'll give you one more and then one like, like spiritual love type poem because there's some poems in there. I like it. Keep them coming. Okay. (laughs) Peace, 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 peace. A book of poems melted into every notebook. Emotions pour out like paint. I have so much to say, but I'm afraid I'm saying it too late. Mm. Mm. Um. Um, and time means everything time yeah. is money mm-hmm. time is money yep so it's like you know yeah and then i'll share this love one with you mm. unless this is the last teaser vtv gets you have to buy the book of course um, see my probably social media for instructions on that <laughs> <laughs> With the, the Instagram machine, the little blue bird. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, Dean, go. I got you. That's Deanology right there. Okay. <laughs> I would have loved you the millions of ways you wanted to be loved. And that's when I had to learn love must be conditional or else you set yourself on fire and they just watch you burn. Wow. Love will be, con- what was it? Love will be. That's when I had to learn love must be conditional or else you set yourself on fire and they just watch you burn. Mm. (laughs) (laughs) That was tough. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's hard. (laughs) That's hard. Love has to be conditional unless you, unless they sit there and watch you burn. Yeah, so basically, it's like, if you love somebody unconditionally, you can, you can do all these things, you can lose yourself in the process, and they're just, they're not going to care, you know, so like, love needs to be conditional, like, so long as, so it's a little bit measurable. Yeah, you know, I, I think, throughout writing my poetry, too, from where I started to where I am now, my I feel like my views of certain things have changed love being one of them you know what I mean like after really getting out what I needed to get out and just being like I mean like yeah there's this cliche idea that love is unconditional but like why that's how people well, end totally up in the most <laughs> toxic relationships you know it's like oh I love you unconditionally like no you should love them conditionally right you should love them as long as they deserve to be loved by you and and not only that, but let's get into the obvious. Like we we objectify, we itemize people as soon as we see them. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna approach a woman if she looks like this or looks like this. That's already off their condition. Yeah. And then some people once 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 you find out the the goods and bads of somebody, you're like, ugh, you know, mm-hmm. you bail. Yeah. There needs to be things that you're receiving in order to give love, in my opinion. Of course. If not, I mean, you're pouring from an empty well. Right setting yourself on fire and they're just standing there fine but you're Mm. burning because you're you're giving everything you're loving unconditionally Mm. so it's about it's about boundaries too you know love Mm. must be like you need to set boundaries for yourself you you know that's i think something that i personally struggle with (laughs) (laughs) i mean it's you know it's all it's hard for stubborn people you know so um, <laughs> <laughs> um but uh yeah so after all that we this book is definitely going to make us think i think this book is definitely gonna um you're gonna have to read some of them twice and you're gonna have to really sit there and be like huh 
You know, yeah. that's, that's what I want, you know, leave a message with your brain. This is, this was the message that was left for me on that psychedelic trip. So wow. I'm just sharing the message, you know, <laughs> that's dope. That's dope. Yeah. I like that. And there are a bunch more that I did write, like I said, during the trip and then a bunch that were inspired by my thought process and that. So it's, it's a good mix. I think um, it's going to be different for, like I said, anyone who knows my poetry, they're going to read it and it's going to be different for them. So, yeah. Yeah. So that's why I wanted to kind of elaborate on that. Like what, um, like, so how can you kind of explain the growth from, you know, the first way with well, first, you know, last year during when COVID came around mm -hmm. and towards now and like, you know, how it's kind of different. Well, how, you know, you talked about, obviously you're, you're in a healthy relationship. So it helps you pull from, you know, for the love pieces, but other, other thing, you know, all around, like what, what else has contributed to the growth? You know, I think, um, like I said, kind of how I was in that creative lull, I think I firsthand realized that I'm most creative when I'm surrounded by people that are constantly creating. Like when I was running the Colored Colors poetry show, I was writing poetry nonstop, mm -hmm. but I was inspired by so many people every mm -hmm. day. So it was, mm -hmm. you know, part of the growth was kind of learning that I need to rely on myself to be a source of creativity, you know, um, independently driven too. You know, mm -hmm. if, if I can't be around people that are doing what I'm doing or do what I like to do, I need to find that within myself and I need to find the things that lead me to that. You know what I'm saying? And like, I'm not perfect at it yet. Like there's still plenty of things that I'm not um, taking the initiative to do. You know, like I said, I haven't done a photo shoot. You know, mm -hmm. if I tried really hard, I could do a photo shoot down here. I'm sure I could find a model, you know? So stuff like that. But like I said, I, I need to draw that inspiration from myself. It's great to be inspired by other people, but at the end of the day, like I can't rely on that. So that was a big growth thing for me. Um, and then, you know, just, I mean, it's, it's been a crazy year, you know, and the amount of healing you can do in a year, but the amount of damage that can be done in that year on top of what you're healing from, like, we're in a constant cycle and that this year has been no different. So, Absolutely. you know, I just, I, 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 um, I'm learning how to make art regardless of what mindset and stage I'm in mm -hmm. type growth, not like, Oh, I'm heartbroken. I want to write all these poems. You know what I mean? Or, um, this is going on in the world and I want to write a poem about it. You know, I need to just have that inspiration within myself. Fire, fire. I like that. I like that. And um, trying new things too. Yeah. And, and, and that's, and that's, we see that, you know, and, and I feel like talk about the, the, you, we've kind of, you know, I guess you said it with your spiritual journey and through your aunt, you've talked about the 360 back to your, your original writing style, but, talk about how does that how does that feel for you like you know to know like this is what I used to do and you're just like ah, I'm in the I'm back in my wheelhouse it's really funny that you brought that up I actually had my Akashic record done yesterday mm -hmm. um, which is like your soul's history mm. and um I'm definitely going to be writing some poetry of what I learned from my soul's history um shit, it had some shit to say you know what I mean and it was interesting too what I was being told because it, it really would complement the book. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. things that I was hearing and I took notes of, I was like, wow, like this is eerily similar to the book I'm writing. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, I think, um, let me formulate my words correctly here. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, take your time. <laughs> How do I want to say this? Um, being in touch with like your spiritual self is definitely going to, to guide your art differently. Mm. And it seems as though I have had this type of creativity before so that's pretty cool <laughs> mm. 
that. Aha. Know? Oh, okay. So, oh, okay. Listen to this, y'all. So you saying you tapped in to your to yo soul's cycles, <laughs> if you will. <laughs> you, you, you did some avatar shit. You did some avatar shit. It was very, very enlightening and eye-opening for sure. And How does one get that done? <laughs> so, um, someone who's able to read Akashic records mm. does them for you. Mm. So um, I Zoomed with this girl um, who I met through a friend of mine down here. And, you know, she does this grounding meditation to start. And then she just, you know, it's some of it has to do with lives. What? Through a Zoom? Through Zoom, yeah, you can meditate together. Through. No, I know, I know that, but I'm saying like she could read your Akasha yeah, through so a Zoom, like Akashic, all that. Your Akashic is so everyone has like a spirit spirit guides, okay? Mm-hmm. So she communicates with her spirit guides to get to my Akashic record. My Akashic records apparently have no door; they're open to be read, which is very interesting. Um, it's so like yeah, it's, it's just, it's about, you know, he, you know, she's a psychic medium. Mm. So she just could, she just, oh, it's like a different, we, all different we are all psychic mediums. If we choose to pursue that type of life, you know, we all have that in us. It's just some people have the access to it. Mm. You know, if I really wanted to train to read Akashic, not train, but like grow to reach, to read Akashic records, like I could. Mm-hmm. I don't know how long it would take. I'm sure it takes a lot of self-work and healing and shadow work and enlightenment and all that. Yeah, that, that shadow work is spooky. <laughs> <laughs> you know, shadow, shadow work hurts. <laughs> but yeah, no, so she does that. And um, yeah, the, the, the stuff that I got from there will also be in the book. Mm. Ooh, ooh, sorry. <laughs> I got I got it. I got it. I was it was I got I got I got I got triggered in by the by the shadow work. That shit that shit got me. Oh man. I s I've taken a break from shadow work a little bit. Um that shit got me. That shit got me. I should that you, you see do you see that? Out um, people the people won't at home won't see my my look off my days. <laughs> he has but he's he he went to a different place for me. Yeah, yeah, I did. I, did, I, did, <laughs> I, did, I, did. I mean, obviously, this this episode is sponsored by uh, Gorilla's Breath, The Strand. So, you know, <laughs> so we're highly medicating over here. But, 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 yeah, the look off was just from from <laughs> previous trials. <laughs> I, I remember, too, when I first had heard about doing shadow work, I was like, oh, I'm going to do shadow work. And, you know, every night I start to do it. And as I start to really get into it, I'm like, wow, this shit's heavy. Like, I don't think this is what I thought it was going to be. And, you know, I learned real quick, you know, do what I can. And when I'm ready to do more, I do more. I can't just be like, ah, let me lay it all out on the table here. Or your past traumas coming up one by one by one. You're like, now you have like six traumas around your head. And you're like, oh shit, I'm healing from all this right now. Yeah. And, um, (laughs) and at at first I thought it was, I thought it was cool. I thought it was light. And I thought it was like, it was like, I thought it was like I, my mind. I thought it was like it's Batman, like this. And I and I said it in an episode with uh with the with the Queen sister right here. I was like, Batman is an example of, of shadow of shadow shadow like work. He made his traumas into a superpower, if mm-hmm. you will. So I was like, I'll take the Batman approach. And I kept thinking like Batman, Batman. Like I'm gonna I gotta not that I'm gonna be Batman, but like that was my driving force. Like you know, conquer your fear and, and, and your doubt and, and all that shit. But it, it it is a spooky place, man. And it's like, it's, you know, it's hard. People are hard to hold themselves accountable for anything. Nonetheless, do shadow work. So, you know, it's one thing, you know, some of the prompts I had, it was like, oh, what was one of the worst things that someone ever said to you? It's like, oh, okay. Yeah, I can play the victim real quick, you know? And I, I write that out. But then it's like, what's the worst thing you've done to someone you love? And you're like, that's a different kind of accountability (laughs) you know and then you write it all out and you're like oh my god (laughs) you know it's I wasn't ready for I guess the accountability of shadow work you know yeah yeah so shout out to everyone who's doing it (laughs) yeah yeah yeah. shout shout, shout out to them dungeoners I'm with you I I I a good and, and, for us, you know? yeah, yeah, and 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 you know, obviously, shout out to everybody on on the spiritual growth. Or if you know, 
if you know if you you haven't been a little bit enlightened i won't say woke or anything like that or anything like that i'm just saying like you don't rush it but you'll know the universe will tell you you know so everything's about divine timing the great architect doesn't make any mistakes so it's like it's just it's just gonna set it up when it's your time all right and you'll know what's your time when it's your time all right so um i think think we should remind these people of revenge yeah it's the third quarter of this game. You're going to... Oh, win. shit. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So, no, so you know, not to, not to, not to say we're going to wrap it up, people, but uh, we're going to wrap it up. And with that being said, it is time. I know people have heard this before. I don't give a fuck if you heard it before. <laughs> You'll hear it again. <laughs> Or you want to hear it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what you I'm saying? Look because forward to hearing it again. Yes, you do look forward to hearing it again. And we've done it many times. And if you're listening for the first time, you're welcome. Oh, pff. don't do it. Don't start it up. <laughs> don't start it up. <laughs> <laughs> fucking welcome. <laughs> you welcome. are welcome. All right, so for the people don't know if you if you do know you're gonna get here a little recap and if you are new to this you're welcome um marissa with her genius self um wrote this piece called aphrodite's revenge so um you know we went to the poet the poet's uh you know things uh, uh, yeah sg shout out to sg she hooked it up yeah i mean but uh, B2B alumni, obviously, you know what I mean? Nothing crazy. But, uh, <laughs> you know, so uh, we go th- we go to the thing, right? And then, you know, I perform my pieces, you know, I, you know I'm like, yeah, whatever. Okay. This <laughs> goes, she kills it, right? So I'm like, I know she had all that. So I'm like, all right, okay, okay, okay. Ends up wins in it, right? She wins the night, right? Am I correct? Yeah. Okay, right. Yeah. Win the night. Win the night. All right, boom. Congrats. Not hating. I'm just congratsing. You know what I mean? So I'm like, all right, cool. So now I'm like, what was that piece she had? I forgot he was a wrench. I was like, nah. Nah. nah I can't let that ride. I remember <laughs> she like, so uh, I want to do this thing. And I was like, you told me. And I was like, I'd be honored. <laughs> honored. Thanks facts so i was like i gotta do this and i was like let's let's fucking let, let i can only do it my way but it's honest honestly in honor of your piece and your, the angle of your piece the whole concept but it's just you know the tale for the guys mm-hmm. so um i'm not gonna lie i do like the sequence when you read yours first because you you oh, you yeah. Yeah, yours is like a straight left hand. And mine's is just the, uh, the hook. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mine's just the, 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 the yeah. you know what I mean? The little, okay, see you later. But. All right, but, so here we go. It's revenge. Revenge! It's Aphrodite's revenge. First spoken word poem that I wrote. Fire. Classic. <clears throat> yeah. Sip of water, hold on. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> To the woman he will love his whole life. You're welcome. You owe all of your thanks to me. Everything you know and love I created in my hands as if I was a goddess myself. It is because of me that you won't ever have a sleepless night devastated over the dreadful degrading terms he called you. It is because of me you will instead be showered with compliments and not derogatory slut shaming from your past. It is because of me that he will treat you like the goddess you deserve to be treated as but remember you are a goddess and he is far from a god despite his narcissistic god complex. You're welcome. It's because of me, you'll never be second best. You'll be number one over everything else because I showed him that humans hold more love than any inanimate object could ever give him and that pleasure through people pushes you further. Because of me, you'll never feel inadequate. Because of me, you'll always be enough and you won't need to get it tattooed on your fucking chest and he won't tell you that his love song to you is Runaway by Kanye West. You're welcome. Because of me, you're not... You'll never have to learn the hard way when he breaks you down to your fucking core and you feel the tectonic plates of your heart shifting and causing earthquakes of anxiety and erupting volcanoes of frustration thinking, maybe one day he will leave you and you will be nothing, not without him. 
you're welcome. Because of me, you'll never have to le learn that love is controlling and demeaning, that he makes the decisions and you must obey, that what you want matters. And because of me, it always will. Because of me, you will always have a voice and it won't be silenced over his screams. But please don't forget the voice that I lost for years so that you may have yours. You're welcome. Because of me, he'll only have eyes for you and he won't love looking at loveless women anymore. And he won't tell you he needs to fuck another woman but sleep in your bed that same night. And you will feel a feeling as rare as his green eyes that I loved long before you showed up and you will feel beautiful. But my fellow goddess, because of fucking me, he'll love you the best you've ever had. So you're welcome, my dear. He's all yours. Mm. And that's the worst curse I could put on anybody. Mm. Fucking welcome. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? So, 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 the angle, like, you're writing this to your ex's new girl. Mm hmm. Oh. Or she existed. Right. You know, you know what I mean? Like, Just saying you're welcome the because. The concept of whoever's next. Mm hmm. I did the, I did the grunt work. You're welcome. Oh. I took the hit so that you could fly. You're welcome. Oh. Oh, you were the you were you were the bump fly. It's one of those. <laughs> oh well, now I know for the future. It's like, oh great, I didn't know that you had to ruin my life so that you could be a good boyfriend to somebody else in the future. You know, but that's what people will say. You know, like I mean, most of the times that you're in a toxic relationship, they don't act like. Sometimes they don't act like that the next time because they learn. You know, and it's like, oh well, mm -hmm. I was your yeah. learning experience, but I paid the price. Right, 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 right. They're not going right, to right. have to pay the price I paid. They're going to get the best of him. Right. Because of me. Exactly. And that's, because and that's the, him. you, yeah, you, yeah, you, you hit it. Right. <laughs> you hit it. That's <laughs> it. You hit it right over the head. Like that's, I wrote that's that poem when someone said like, someone had said that to me or maybe he even said to me like, oh, well, I'll never treat anyone like this again. And I was like, oh, good. Lucky mm -hmm. me. <laughs> like you know like Who what does that, that mean i wrote that poem from a sheer point of shot view. It's, a, <laughs> it's a very light poem like as far as like how i perform it and what i actually said but that came from like rage mm. that was i was fucking right so i wrote that in one move <laughs> so my point i was i was i was like yo i can't let this can't let this shit slide nope. No, nope. I was like, <laughs> revenge, huh? We needed revenge. <laughs> we were, were revenge. revenge huh? Creates more revenge. Yeah, yeah. It's a cycle. It's a cycle of revenge. You know what I mean? So, uh, Aries revenge. <clears throat> peace, 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 peace. <laughs> because of me, your energy will never have symmetry. You broke my heart. Watch a new man envy me. Speaking of your new man, what a do, fam. Because of me, my sloppy seconds turn to steamed broccoli and a skirt steak. For that, you're welcome. You're about to enjoy a crazy bitch trip while I make poetry do my bidding like a ventriloquist. Thousands of you, one of me, how could she get rid of this? But let me get back to the task at hand and speak to you man to man. You inherit a queen that looks the part and says the right things. A simple sexual that's flexible. Not being a hater, but you'll thank me later. <laughs> you'll experience a woman with, with a drive that keeps a limit on her pride. Your chakras will be back in line and in due time, she'll age like wine. The way I see it is, you're getting all my school of thought by damn near the principle. You think you sprung now? She'll turn your love into a ritual. That sex witch trick is her best trick. Her and her powers are amplified after dark. You better learn how to swim now. She'll turn your bedroom into an indoor water park. And for that, you're welcome. The goddess of love, you have no chance. It's like Zeus crafter with his own hands. Because of me, you'll wake up next to the benchmark of beauty, whose, whose love is passionate yet unruly. I'm a warrior. I usually don't even speak like this. You got to be careful with those hypnotizing hips. Because of me, she'll make your love soar like an eagle's first flight, breaking clouds, exploring new heights. She crippled the heart of the god of war. Now, she'd, now she's invested in you and has way more in store. You'll never have a seer at a weakness where she's borderline mortal, no golden aura and can't fly. I'm the internal energy that she feeds on. I'm the one that keeps the glow and the gleam on. For that, you're welcome. What's entitlement to a goddess? 
In my immortal time above, I have yet to lay my weapons down and find it's just the love. Couldn't find the cure to her allure. Fuck it. At this point, I don't want to warn you anymore. While you enjoy the best years of your life with the woman that's supposed to be my wife, heed my warning. Don't forget where your blessings come from. P.S. Young Mortal, you're welcome. Peace, 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 peace. Revenge! <laughs> I don't, I have to be honest, I don't ever think I'll perform Aphrodite's Revenge unless Ares' Revenge can be performed. <laughs> it's like an incomplete set. It's, it's, <laughs> I can't, it's not right. <laughs> it's not right, that's why, you know, when I was like, oh, I'm gonna make this book, I was like, I can't put Aphrodite's Revenge in there and not Ares' Revenge. Ares' yeah, Revenge right. has to be there. Like, yeah. it's, it's, it's a piece. Yeah, it is. <laughs> like, it is. It, and I'm just I'm just so like I'm kinda like happy that like that came about and the concept came so quickly and I was able to do it in like a day. You know what I mean? I was just I'm just like, all right, yeah, I'm able to do it. And I did it. And I was like, wow. It's crazy <laughs> what you could what you could set your mind to. You had, you know, in yours you have more Greek mythology illusions and I love yeah. that. I yeah. love that type of writing. I I you know, I called Aphrodite's Revenge it for a reason, you know, but you took it and you like, you really brought that in to use as like metaphors and stuff. And yeah. I love that in Aries. Yeah. And, and, and I thought, you know, what I thought it was like, I really imagined myself as Aries. <laughs> and I'm like, this nigga Aries really fuck with somebody, you know, everybody fuck with this bitch. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's like, come on, Aries, you gotta be smarter than that. <laughs> but nonetheless, till next man. I, I took the I took the hit. It was me. It was me. I, I, I ruined her for you. Exactly. How you think she got the glow? How she how you think she got the glow? You'll never ruin her as bad as I did. How does yeah. that? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? So that's where my my inspiration was from. But um, yeah, man, we can't wait for the book. Well, uh, what's the uh, leave a message with your brain? Leave a message with your brain. Coming. Leave a message with your you. fucking brain, man. Use your noodle. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, you know I mean, um, yeah, man. So this is gonna, this is a powerful way to come back. They, they forgot. They fucking <laughs> forgot about. They it. must have forgot. They forgot. <laughs> it's all right though. It's all right. We, I, I mean, I live. I guess we live in an age now. We need a constant. Uh, what's it called? Reconstant. What's it? What's it called? Reassurance. 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 <laughs> yeah, constant reassurance. But yeah. you know. I guess we got to come back here and just prove it to y'all. So we here nonetheless. Another BTB classic, the poet corner, man. Los, redheaded stranger. We out of here, man. Peace, 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 peace. <laughs>